Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for maybe over five years ago, definitely over six years ago, bringing me here to Hong Kong and Mong Kok. And somehow touching my heart, touching my heart for your people in Hong Kong. With the knowledge that the people here in Hong Kong are not only the gateway to the East, but the gateway to the West, to the world. Jesus, by reaching people here in Hong Kong, by reaching people all around of different nationalities, different religions, different cultures, by reaching people here in Hong Kong, we are reaching people and sending people to every nation of the world. We thank you, Lord, that you have allowed me to be a part of the beautiful city of Hong Kong as we reach out to seven million people, that they will not perish, but they will be with you forever. Thank you, according to the Father's plan, that you have came to Mong Kok, and you have walked in large, and you have said, the gates of hell will not prevail against me walking in. Come on, and I will set the, the nations here that are even in Mong Kok free. Free indeed. We will dance on the streets of the gold, that are golden. We will live in lives full of freedom. You have opened up so many doors and windows in Mong Kok and Hong Kong that the fields are harvest ready. Fields are white and we need to pray to the Lord of the harvest for the workers for the workers are few. Lord, there are several hundred thousand Christians here in Hong Kong, but there are seven million people just here in Hong Kong. And maybe another million people in tourists from weekend to weekend, especially from the mainland that are mostly here in Hong Kong and all over other shopping areas and tourist areas in, in Hong Kong. There are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are hungry. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've given us several different tools to reach out to mainlanders who are shopping in Hong Kong. Thank you, Lord, for travel tour groups. They will have a stop. They will have the tour groups stop so they can hear what we're saying. Yesu Aine. Jesus loves you to people from the mainland who've never seen that before in their life people singing and having great joy. Many people from many different nations coming together on the street and singing and rejoicing and showing that to be a Christian means that we are a loving family from all the nations. We are one as you have made us one. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for comforting us, not only giving us rest, but giving us joy and energy and excitement and peace, and new ideas, and new creativity, and we will go into this new century reaching every nation, every people, every tribe, every tongue with the love of Jesus Christ, and nations will come to you in a day, and we will see miracles and things that no one thought possible, and everyone in this room, they have a purpose and a plan for the great harvest the end souls coming to the Lord throughout the nations. Everyone in this room will see their life until they meet you face to face, greater and greater, full, more, full of more authority, full of more confidence and peace as they bring their neighbors and their friends and those around them to Jesus, ending the misery. Lord Jesus, you say that when we go to heaven, you will wipe away our tears. But you give us the opportunity to wipe away the tears of many all around us and their misery and lead them to heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for that opportunity. Lord Jesus, thank you for tonight as we worship you, as we hear from Daniel Black and others, and as we encourage and lift up one another. We will leave here tonight knowing that we have nothing that stops us. There is nothing that will get in our way. There is nothing that will stop us. 
not only from separating us from the love of God, but separating us from our destiny, from the things you called us to do, from the ways you called us to live. There will be nothing that stops us. We will follow you, even when it looks crazy. And you will give us rest and a lot of friends as we lead people to you who are lost. We will become found. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your anointing and your spirit fall on this place from this time forward. Let people feel warm and have love and infatuation with you. Light a fire in their heart. Make them hungry to know you more. And they will truly be happy. Almost, this is our pre four year anniversary party. Sometime in April or early May, we will have the four year anniversary party, but this is almost a real anniversary party. We have people from almost the beginning, the Moncock ladies who are now planting churches in other areas, ministering to their, their own people with full authority in Jesus Christ. We have people from China and people who are doing outreaches around here. From Full Gospel Businessman, we have a woman's glow lady who's glowing and glowing and giving more glow to all the women of Hong Kong. We have a group from Vanguard University in Canada who's visiting us. Thank you for coming. We have friends from our new Eternal Covenant Cafe and our new Mong Kok Chinese Outreach. We have... Even in such a small group, a diverse group of people. And thank you for coming. Um, when I first decided to go out on the street, my little comic cafe group of three people, they all said, you're crazy, and goodbye. Yeah. And the next week, I was here at the comic cafe, singing in that corner there. And I got a chance just to have a new group of Chinese kids and encourage them, give them CDs, give them uh, little Bible verses or cartoons or whatever, and just bless them. And Man's been here, where's Man? Man's over here for over four years and has been my good buddy. And I thank him. Thank you, Man. So... We're going to start with a couple of songs. This week, as we've been preparing for this, I don't know about you, but a time will come in your ministry where you will have so much confidence, you will know that God's going to do something. There are always surprises every Sunday. And I could tell you several surprises that are, have come and are coming and more surprises to come. You will have confidence. It won't be because of your experience. If I do this, this will happen. It's not manipulation. It's your confidence in the Lord and His desire to help people. And you will start to have confidence like that. Just like I am beginning to get confidence that God will minister. So He's going to minister tonight. This week, a new friend, every day, sent me encouraging text messages or Facebook messages. Really good ones. Like, you are awesome in Jesus Christ. Okay? Sometimes my encouraging messages are not good ones, okay? You are awesome in Jesus Christ. And last night she sent me a message that says, Remember who you are in Christ. Hi, come on in, Ted. Everybody say hi, Ted. Hi, Ted. Ted is a wonderful man. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the message was, Remember who you are in Christ. So this morning I remembered who I was in Christ, and I wrote a song. We're going to sing two Who You Are in Christ songs before we go into intense worship. So everybody stand up, and we'll do worship the old-fashioned way. You'll just start picking up the songs, take deep breaths in the Lord. Did we lose our power? Okay, batteries. Piano bag. Okay, this is where you, okay, this is, um, this is experience, yeah, right there in the, in the, 
Yeah, right there. This is where you guys, as we're doing the technical difficulty, thanks. You guys need to put your arms on each other's so shoulders and say a little prayer for each other. Do it right now while we're, while we're making our technical change. Put your arm on somebody's shoulder. <laughs> Got that right? Thank you.